My name is April Arguin. I'm 37 years old, currently living in Jacksonville, Florida, and I am a mito warrior. I was diagnosed at the age of 28 years old after a five-year exhausting odyssey to receive the diagnosis. I live currently with my beloved partner of four years, Kelly, who has been an amazing rock and support in my life, loving me through the challenges and stress of life with chronic illness. I'm also close with my mom and my brother, who live in the same community only four minutes away, so we see each other fairly often. I'm very close to my best friend, Gary, who is a retired war hero of the Iraq War. We have a rare, unique bond, understanding each other in ways many don't, living with our invisible injuries and illnesses. We are huge into our pets and really revolve our lives around them. Gary and I co-own a beautiful little chihuahua girl named Ariel, who is six, and Kelly and I co-own an awesome hairless sphinx cat named Stubbin, who's now four, and we also have my service dog in training, Bailey, who's a standard poodle. Our lives with Mido are not easy, but we make the best we can of a very hard situation. And we practice a lot of balance to keep our lives flowing as best as possible to minimize stress and additional flares of my Mido symptoms. My partner Kelly works full time as a financial executive at a local company. And we also together with my family own and operate an online holistic pet care business. Because my brother, who is 41, is also affected by Mito, we found as a family that we could work together to balance the demands of our own business better than we were able to continue working for others when we became disabled by our symptoms. Our days are focused around keeping our business running smoothly and being there for our customers and working towards finding new ways to improve and innovate to help others better care for their pets. My role in the business is to provide online and phone consultations with fellow pet parents to teach them how to feed their pets a balanced homemade diet and how to heal their pets of chronic illnesses like IBS, chronic infections, or skin allergies. I was very excited to have an opportunity to continue my education in 2018 and I enrolled in an online class to become a certified pet nutritionist. I'm now also certified currently to become a pet master herbalist. The school is virtual and home study so I'm able to go at my own pace and not increase my symptoms. I had thought I would never have a chance to go back to college again so this means the world to me. When we're not doing business school stuff we're enjoying our pets taking them on walks or me sometimes wheeling. We are walking, playing in our yard, taking them to the pet store, having movie nights, game nights, and enjoying good healthy food together. I also participate in a local sports ability group for adults with disabilities whenever time and health allows, and I have had a lot of fun and made a lot of connections through the events. I think what makes me a mito warrior is because I am making the conscious choice every day to fight to continue to live my life fully, despite the disease. I never gave up when I knew something was really wrong with my body, but the doctors couldn't figure it out for five years. I didn't quit college when I got sick three semesters in. I didn't give up when I could no longer work at my hard-earned career as a dental hygienist. I continued to find a way to still be involved in the world, in my community, and in the things I care about through our, through our small business. Despite my frequent pain, illnesses, and physical limitations, I find unique ways to stay active. I use my wheelchair and walker whenever needed to help conserve energy, and I find low energy fun activities to participate in and keep life fun and fresh. Everything in my life looks nothing like I thought it would be at this age. However, by being patient and accepting of my limitations and having amazing help in my life, I have still achieved so many things I'm so thankful for, like our family business, my continued education, being a homeowner, having a great committed relationship, and being part of the online pet community as a health influence influencer. The only last words I would like to share is the advice of things I have found most helpful in my journey. 
I have found that most happiness through the power of letting go of expectations. I'm not able to do so many things the average healthy 37-year-old person can do. But I've learned to let go and find peace with where I'm at and making the best of what I can do in life. With enough thought, focus, and creativity, I've found for myself and many others in the chronic illness community have found great ways to still lead rich and full lives. It just looks different than we thought and different from those around us. But trust me, it is worth the challenge.